Good morning, Indian Hills. Dr. Christensen here with your Monday message. Today, we're going to have a Mindful Monday. We're also going to talk about Career Day expectations. Career Day is on Wednesday. Um, during today, you'll learn when that uh, is going to open up so you can sign up for what you want to watch and what you want to see. So that sign up will be coming out. And then on Wednesday, you will go and see three different speakers. Obviously, we want to show our tiger pride. We want to be respectful to the people who are coming. We want to ask really good questions. Um, and we want to be thankful for them being here. Mr. Sinram and our CPI, which is our Committee for Parent Involvement, have worked very hard to bring in some outstanding speakers. And so pick something you're interested in and, and go there and be prepared to ask questions um, and be respectful and be thankful. Okay, that's a great day. That's Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday is a math encore day. Wednesday, you're going to do some prep for the conditions of learning survey, and you'll have career day, and then you'll have career day reflection. So I'm going to kind of pause here. Conditions of learning is the first survey that we take before we take our ISASP test. ISASP stands for Iowa State Assessment of Student Progress. It is the state's test. It is our way of knowing where you are in the learning that you have gotten this year. It's our way of knowing how well we did in teaching the standards that are expected for us to teach during this school year. It is the utmost importance that you do your best on the ISASP each day. And I'm going to come and talk with you every step of the way about why you should feel confident in the test and why you need to show your tiger pride and be resilient and finish and do your best and how that benefits you and it benefits your teachers that care about you and it benefits Indian Hills. So we're going to talk about that. The first step of it is the conditions of learning survey. Now it's more than just a survey because we as a school get a grade for this survey. And so we want you to do your best and be truthful and take it serious because it does come back as a grade for us. So we'll talk about that later. In fact, there's actually a video you're gonna watch of me talking more in detail about it on Wednesday during Tiger Time. Thursday, we'll do ISAS prep day one. That prep is just about how the, the online test works. Where are the different tools you can use? How, where's the calculator? How can you find formulas? Are there ways that you can cross out answers? Yes, all of these things are available. Thursday, you're going to learn how to use the ISASP um, online uh, test to your advantage and have some good test taking skills. Friday, we'll finish any of that ISASP prep, and then you'll actually take the conditions for learning um, survey. So that's all happening this week. The other thing that's happening this week, like we don't have enough going on, is the high school coaches are going to come down and talk to eighth graders. Every day there'll be something different. It'll be fall sports one day. It'll be winter sports another day. It'll be spring sports um, yet another day, maybe next week. So we have them kind of split up. Pay attention to the announcements. We'll also say something over the intercom, but be ready to meet um, some of the coaches that you're going to work with and high school eighth graders. And at some point we will have a seventh grade to eighth grade fall sports meeting also. So be ready for all of that. Hey, we're starting to transition. We're starting to transition. Okay. Be resilient. Show your tiger pride. Keep after it. A lot of your teachers are getting you prepped for the things that you need to remember that you already have learned. Um, to take this test. You got it. You got it, Indian Hills. Dr. C signing out. Go Tigers!